I'm a detective. I'm here to rescue you. If you look like you relax, I'm the second I got the words out. How are you going to help us? Where's the exit? There isn't one. The doors we came in through won't open, and the door over there... He kind of cut himself off. I think he was considering something before he changed his mind. Anyway, there's no point. We can't all get out of here. If we don't get out of here, we're going to be burned to death. Burned to death? Can't you hear it? That voice said the incinerator's going to start up soon. So... So... <laughs> The voice spoke again. Incineration will begin in 15 minutes. They only had 15 minutes. I looked back down at the kids. Looks like a good 20 or 30 feet to the floor. No way I could pull them up. Too big of a distance for any of us to reach. What the hell was I gonna do? But then I got an idea. Wait right there! I'm gonna be right back! What? Wh where is he going? Are, are you just gonna leave us here? They just got frightened again. I'm not the best at that kind of thing, but I tried to reassure them with a smile. Don't worry, all right? I'll be back, I promise. So just stay calm and wait right there. I didn't wait to hear them respond. There wasn't time. I had to hurry. Well, as fast as I got could on his hands and knees. Didn't take me long to get back to my cell. Still no way out of there, but I had a plan. I needed something from the room. When I got it, I dove back into the hole and took off towards the incinerator. Then... Sorry to keep you waiting, guys. I tipped out the doorway and dropped down the rope I brought with me. Back in the cell, I'd torn the bed sheets into strips and tied them together to make a rope. It was sloppy, but it got the job done. All right, just tie that around yourself, okay? I'll pull you up one at a time. Right. Huh. Wait a sec. Something was off. And there were more of you before. Where'd the rest of you go? The boy in the uniform answered. I let them go on ahead. We opened the number nine door and they left. What? You're telling me you opened that door? That's what I said. Then what the hell are you doing here? We couldn't go with them. Why not? Look, the only people who can go through the number door... He was in the middle of explaining. Incineration will begin in five minutes. The wall shook a bit and the voice bouncing around. Look, that can wait, all right? Just get us out of here! Uh, right! I grabbed onto the rope. First one I pulled up was a girl with a ponytail. Next was a girl with a red necktie. A boy in a jacket came after. He said he'd climb up on his own. He was a uniform with the last up. Like the other kid, he climbed up the rope himself. He looked pretty scrawny, but I guess he was stronger than he looked. He moved fast, but when he was almost to me, we heard some knocking. Everyone looked at the door. It had a thick, square window set into it. On the other side, an angry face was staring in. God damn it! What's going on here? Why is the room empty? Where the hell are those fucking kids? 